Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and to this, the first video I am filming in 2022. Fingers crossed that it is absolutely killer. I do actually want to say to you guys, thank you so much for the love on my last video. It meant a lot to me to make something like that and I do it every year, but I feel like this year, or should I say 2021 was a big year for me on the YouTube sphere, so to speak. So thank you so much for all the love on that video. Without any further ado, my loves, I think today it's time for another episode of The Swan Girls. Why aren't you making it to the the absolutely bonkers plastic surgery reality TV show in which two women, self-confessed ugly ducklings according to production, are pitted against each other in the most bonkers plastic surgery transformation competition reality TV show that's ever existed. And I cannot believe that I have said that sentence again because that sentence shouldn't even exist. In my eyes, it should not exist. This is not a case of women wanting plastic surgery and going to their surgeons and talking backwards and forwards about procedures that can or can't be done or perhaps shouldn't be done over the course of a year or so and taking multiple different opinions from different consultations with doctors. That is not what this show is. This show is about pressuring women into a specific idea of beauty according to two plastic surgeons. That's fun, isn't it, Gales? That's what we all want, yeah. So, my lovelies, the last episode that we covered of this was quite, quite a lot. We saw Laurie, who got the most plastic surgery of any contestant ever on this show. And, oh, my goodness me, there is a lot to that story that has been untold thus far. And we will be going over it at the end of the series in a The Swan Season 2 Where Are They Now video that I will be making. So, my loves, without further any, with blah, 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 without further ado, make sure you've got your beverage at the ready. It's time to spill some hot tea. Is it hot tea? I don't suppose it's scalding because this was 2004. Maybe some nice steeped mulled wine. For it is winter still, apparently. But it is the most mildest winter I've ever seen, so... Let's pop in the Ochanger and let's watch The Swan Girls! I've got that bloody awful song stuck in my head that's like... Got a vibe! Tonight on The Swan. The Swan Girls! Oh, straight into it. Amanda. Oh, she's wearing a rather boudoir attire, don't you think? She's going to be like, mm, time for the boudoir show, everybody. Satin sheets makes for a slat. <laughs> Good heavens. Don't think Susan will let me say that. As so far this season, two women have qualified for the most two. unique beauty oh, pageant bosom. ever devised. Tonight, two unbelievable stories. Oh, look at that two ring. more amazing transformations. But only one of them will the win banister. a spot in the pageant and a the chance pageant. to be crowned the swan. The banister. Oh, I thought she wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I've got a scandal girl. Nelly scandal girl. Transformation. One swan. It's Rachel girl. The swan. Girls. Now, Ooh. our first competitor <gasps> struggled with her weight her whole life, oh. which has ultimately taken its toll on her body. And... I would like to see Amanda's outfit here, but on my screen here, she is just merged in with the shadow of this cabinet, this television cabinet. So as far as I can see on my screen, she's just an amorphic floating woman going, mm, the pageant. <laughs> Only one will make it to the pageant, girls. Which has ultimately taken its toll on her body. And now she needs help from us here at the Swan. So let's meet Erica Moore. Erica, Erica. hello. You're going to be a swan. Oh You're going to be a swan. Yes. Prepare your wings. Yes. Oh what? Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so awesome. You're going to be transformed. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> my name is Erica Moore, and I live in La Center. I need to pause that for a moment because I don't quite know how I. I mean, I sort of understand that maybe production has gone in here and been like, right, we're going to say this thing to you because obviously there's a house in the middle of nowhere and there's suddenly a camera crew. Like, you're going to know that it's there for you at this time, you know? So I feel like it's a bit acting is required. But the idea of some man in the background just going like, yes, yes, mate, oh, yes. When there's there going to be a brow lift, it's just, I don't know, that that's very strange to me. Very strange to me. But all right, let's peep at her through the reeds. Is this reeds or wheat? This is wheat, isn't it? And I live in La Center, Washington. Washington. I have been through so much. Oh, oh what's People it gonna be? People tease me because I was adopted. With my mom being Japanese, it's very obvious that I'm not their child. She's very petite and small. But you are their my child. My mother could never understand what it was like to have a weight problem. Genetically, she will never be like a fashion model, and I don't think any cosmetic surgeries will change that. I was always the I mean, there's being blunt and there's you'll never be a fashion model and no cosmetic surgery will change that. Um, 
I think this is one of those things where it's very of its time. Parents back in the day were always very much like, if you don't fit what I think you should be, then there may be a problem. But I don't like the idea that she's been bullied for being adopted. Like... There are so many kids in this world that are already here that need loving families and loving environments to grow up and flourish in. Personally, I'm child free, but I absolutely would always adopt before having my own if that was ever something to be in my future. I feel like it's it's really sad. People bully people for this because like, what is this? The child can't change that. What can the child do about not having parents. Like what? Spoiler alert, the answer is nothing. I was always the, the chubby okay. girl. I stood out from my class. I was always big and I was always teased. By the end of high school, I really had no confidence. And that's when I found myself in an awful relationship. Oh. My ex-boyfriend is my black cloud. <gasps> he devastated her emotionally. Sorry, I know this is a really emotional moment, but how beautiful is this shot? This is the most artistic thing I've seen on the swan so far. How gorgeous is this shot? I mean, I know she's, they've asked her to sit on this ledge and be like, oh, can you be mournful about your ex-boyfriend who is the black cloud of your life? But like, how beautiful is the contrast here? The idea that these trees are just like going like this against like this gorgeous, I guess it's a sunset. It could be a sunrise. I guess it's a sunset. That is a gorgeous shot. And I'm really sorry, Erica, which is, I've just lambasted your talk about this disgusting man. He devastated her emotionally he oh. devastated her financially and my <gasps> life was just a roller coaster and Not he the is responsible for it oh she ended up weighing 240 pounds <sighs> with no money look at nelly i was getting bigger and bigger and the stress was it was killing me i didn't realize how much weight i had gained until i went shopping with my mom went to the dress this is such a story that I can really relate to. This idea of like being in a bad place in your life, whether that's due to somebody else being in your life that's being abhorrent in it, or your mental health or something like this, and being like, I had no idea how much weight I gained until I until like a moment happened in your life, and you're like, oh, this is the reality. I literally had this moment in 2016 and was like, oh, I need to do something about this. I reckon there are people in my audience here who've, who can really sympathize here with Erica because I know that I absolutely am. And it's a, weight loss is a long process of like making consistent yet small at first, healthier choices about what you decide to spend your calorie budget on if you can think of it like that. Whereas I don't think this show is going to do that. I think this show is going to try and do a quick fix. And I'm, that's my preparation fingers being like, no, I don't like it. No, stop. No, stop it. Stop it, girls. Went to the dressing room. I saw the size of the pants in between my legs. I was now a 22 and I just, I lost it. Right then it hit me. I needed help. It took me two years to lose 90 pounds. <gasps> working out every day. But that I is still incredible. don't feel confident about myself. 90 pounds in two years. That is absolutely incredible. That is such a brilliant achievement. 100% Erica has focus and determination on a goal that she has. That should be celebrated and not thought of as like, oh, it's not coming off fast enough, girls. Why aren't you making it to the planet? Healthy weight loss is slow and consistent. Everything in this life is slow and consistent, really. If you want to be absolutely great at something, it takes patience and consistency. My self-esteem is 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 very low but erica you're so looking pretty. in the mirror and still seeing that big girl looking back at me now when you lose a lot of weight your boobs they sag mm. in my stomach of course mm. a lot of times to mask the hurt my yeah. personality shines but really on the inside i'm dying my world around me is crumbling i want the pizzazz i want i want the wow out of life i want to be somebody that is mental health speaking there. That is a mental health... I was going to say the word crisis. I don't think crisis is quite the right word in this case. But I feel like it's a mental health um, situation that would benefit from being addressed by a professional and not something like the swan. Now, I understand that, like, these people have all applied to go on the swan and hope that this fixes the issues that they have in their life. But it is up to the people of authority in this situation to also explain that... This isn't a, f a quick fix. Quick fixes don't work. Like, the, the road to recovery on any sense of that situation is a road. It's not just get off the bus and there you are. A brow lift, a breast lift and some veneers at the bus stop. Absolutely not. Right, come on, vultures. Okay, Cult. well, Erica's major issue, obviously, is her weight. And Dr. Hayworth, she's dropped 90 pounds, a lot of weight. How do you think we can help her? Erica's weight loss has left its permanent damage upon her body and... 
Her weight loss has left permanent damage on her body. I really don't like that phrasing. That kind of a sentence does not pay homage to the incredible journey that she has been on. That almost says that it is a self-choice damaging process that she has undergone. And that is not the case at all. It should be celebrated. Plastic surgery is the only way to correct that. She New needs skin, an yes. plasty and some strategic total body liposuction. She has a face that looks more like a, a 40 year old woman. I would do a mid face lift and an endoscopic brow lift, nasal surgery, Brownish. and a chin implant. Oh my god. She was actually a very beautiful girl underneath all this. What about you, Debbie? You can do. How far underneath, Dr. Hayworth? Are you talking about the sinew? Are you talking about her buckle fat cavities? Are you talking about the very marrow of her bones? Vampire. What about you, Debbie? You Hello, Debbie. You can do so much with liposuction, but after that, you have got to hit the gym hard. Why do we keep having these shots of Nelly? Just like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a swan. For that, you have got to hit the gym hard in order okay. to get rid of the rest of it. Yes, you know what that's sensible. worries me sensible. about Erica, though? In the tape, she's blaming mm -hmm. others for her life, and she doesn't seem to have a real sense of mission. Yes, I totally agree with Nelly that she's looking oh, outward do you? for the reason for the way... You totally agree with Nelly? Well, we should ask for your papers back, shouldn't we, realistically, Dr. Lynn? Because... Why would you ever agree with a swan pageant beauty coach about anything they're saying from a psychological point of view? Why would you do that? I'm really on fire today, girls. I do not like this episode so far. No! She's looking outward for the reason for the weight gain, but in truth, it's probably something going on within that we need to explore in therapy. That's not what Nelly said! That's not what Nelly said. She was blaming other people for her downfalls. She wasn't blaming other people at all. Erica didn't once say, it's his fault or their fault or her fault. She was in an abusive relationship, so you can't just be like, well, you're just useless at doing all that, because that's not what happened. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot of work to do. Do you think you can give her the wow and the pizzazz what, that she's like looking she's a brick for in wall. just three months? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see her plan. Ooh. Oh, come on then. Erica's Ooh. small plan features several Scotty. procedures. She'll have a brow lift, mid-face lift, course she'll have a brow lift. with fat transfer, chin implant and liposuction of the chin and neck. Right. For her body, Erica will have a tummy tuck, breast augmentation, and liposuction in four different areas. Oh, again, we're doing breast augmentation and a tummy tuck. It's just like, no wonder why they can't move, because they're just going to be like, oh no. The idea that then they're forced to diet and exercise whilst recovering from like the, f the full front of the torso being operated on is just bonkers. It's just bonkers. I know that recently, in fact, on the last episode, there were a couple of people in the comments actually that said that they'd had a, a tummy tuck or a cesarean of some sort. So something that involved cutting the abdomen open and it was like a long arduous process to heal. Anyone who's done any research on a tummy tuck will know that it is like you don't make this decision light. This is not a just a like oh yeah pop in for a tummy tuck all done. It's one of those things that needs to be done and then recovered from before you have any further any further operations. And there are so many complications that can happen with a tummy tuck that this show does not talk about in the slightest. One of them, a very big one, happened to Laurie. We'll go into details about that in a future episode. Erica's dental procedures will include zoom bleaching, okay. multiple crowns, Da Vinci veneers, and gum recontouring. I don't think Da Vinci would like to be associated with these veneers. Should we ask him? Bring out the Ouija board, girls. I really like your veneers. For her fitness transformation, Erica right. will be put on a 1200 calorie a day diet and work out of the gym twice daily, six days a week, concentrating on cardio and high repetition weight training. Okay. To help release her old body image and become independent, Erica will undergo weekly one, therapy and One coaching. hour of therapy. And experts, our next competitor tonight is a 30-year-old military wife who's struggling to change her life, but needs some help from us here at The Swan. Also, Me Erica was 24. That is so young to be doing undergoing this much plastic surgery. Christina Azuna. Right, Azuna. You've been chosen to be a swan. <gasps> We've accosted you on this running track. I can't oh. believe it. I absolutely can't believe it. This stuff doesn't happen to me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My name is Christina Ozuna, and I'm from Silverdale, Christina Washington. Christina girls. My husband Washington. Michael is in the Navy, and I have an eight-year-old daughter. Oh. As a child, I didn't feel like anybody invested in me emotionally. My parents got divorced and my dad left. It bothers me that my own father didn't accept me. So how are other people that aren't even related to me supposed to, you know, be accepting of oh, me? Oh gosh, this child storyline is so intense, and also isn't for it? my husband, our relationship suffers when I don't have confidence in myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm not good enough for him. 
and I met his parents for the first time, it was heavy. And when we got home and saw these family pictures, I thought, this is the fattest you've ever been. You don't even want to be in family pictures because you don't want your family to be embarrassed to be. Okay, so we have a theme for this episode and the theme is obesity. How can we plastic surgery away obesity? Is that what it is? Oh, Christina, go. I decided that I wasn't going to spend any more time oh, being got a CD player. Sorry to interrupt, but look, look, I look. Wasn't... I remember doing this when I was in high school. So in her front pocket here, you see that large disc that looks like she's carrying a frying pan with her. That is a CD player. Back in the day, you had to carry full CDs and a CD player in your pocket if you wanted to listen to them. Do you remember the like six second anti-skip technology that did absolutely nothing at all? Ridiculous. I wasn't going to spend any more time being fat. Okay. Total, I've lost 30 pounds. Mm. I hit a plateau That's and I amazing. can't lose any more weight. She's more self-conscious now that she's lost 30 pounds than she was when she was weighing 180 pounds. I don't want my husband to see me without my clothes on. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, look at him. He's like, <laughs> delicious. The saddlebags are my biggest things that I hate. You to have an incredible at. body. I feel like people are staring at me. Oh, do we need to do this hateful Zoom in a bikini? Well, it's not a bikini, it's a one piece, but still. Thinking, doesn't she know she looks horrible? And not a loving hand from anyone extended to Why her. Why does she think she looks okay in that bathing suit? Do you know what I, the irony is? The irony is, I bet the production team were like, oh, you've said that to us. Now what we're going to do is ask you to be in a bathing suit, really uncomfortable getting out of a pool so we can zoom in on your bum, girl. What are the storyboards for this episode? Like, people in production have to draw, like, storyboard ideas for each episode. Do they just, like, pluck ideas out of random air and just be like, right, zoom in on this bit, girl. Yeah, that's right. I've cracked the code, oh, girl. girl. she's got a degree. What I'd like to gain by going through the SWAN program is to be a good mother to my daughter. To show her what it feels like to have good self-esteem. Because those are things I just don't know how to teach her at this oh, point. Oh, I, oh, that feels like a planted sentence because... In my mind, okay, plastic surgery is a part of life. I'm pro-plastic surgery. I, I say it's a part of life. It's not a part of everyone's lives. It's a part of very specific people's lives. I am pro-plastic surgery. You have a problem with something or you don't like the way that something looks, you can go to a doctor and have things changed by millimeters to improve the way you feel about yourself and your position in the world. That is absolutely fine. But when it comes to using that statement as you want to show your offspring that by going undergoing plastic surgery you can become happier with yourself does set a dangerous precedence because then it doesn't become plastic surgery about for your benefit it also sets an example to the young impressionable more young impressionable minds around you that plastic surgery is the only way to happiness and that is not correct plastic surgery is one of the many tools available to us as humans that allows us to take steps towards a journey of happiness shall we say plastic surgery on this show is almost seen without risk at all and that's not the case. It's not the case for me. It's not the case for anyone. Undergoing plastic surgery is more often than not an intrinsic part of being trans, for example. And I would hate the way for people to think that the only way to achieve happiness is by having plastic surgery. For me, it's going to enhance my happiness and my state in the world. It's not for everyone and it doesn't have to be for everyone. But if you want it, there are definitely better ways you can go about it than a competition reality TV show. Those are things I just don't know how to teach her at this point. Hey, Dr. Yanni. Oh, she let's give her a mummy plastic. Model. How do you help her to get some self-esteem going? We've got to help her get past that shame and self-criticism. So we've got to help her walk shame? into a place where she cares for herself. But you know, there's a red flag on that tape. I mean, the yeah. husband says that she starts working out, she lost weight, and then she feels worse about herself yeah, exactly. than when she was heavier. So I'm concerned for you, Debbie, and I think you and I yeah. have to really work together because to me that's a glaring red flag. I think. For what? What are you going to do, Nelly? What are you going to do to be like, oh, that dress doesn't look very nice on you, actually? Uh, you and I have to work together. What do you do, Nelly? You are an executive producer on this show. What do you do? What do you do that is in any way beneficial for people's mental health? What do you do? Without liposuction, you won't be able to spot reduce those areas. So she right. really needs a lot of liposuction. The outer thighs, the inner thighs, mm -hmm. the abdomen. We're going to do a nose job. And open up her eyes with a brow lift. Do some liposuction of her chin. Take some fat out of her cheeks. I think she has... I've said it once and I've said it again and I've said it eight 
18 times, but like, does it, do, are they getting like paid per the hour for brow lifts or something? They're like, we need to do more, do more for everyone. Everyone gets a brow lift, girls. All of the production team have brow lifts. Liposuction of her chin, take some fat out of her cheeks. I think she has incredible potential to look amazing. Does she have dental issues? She is going to need a full mouth reconstruction. I see a lot of decay in her mouth just from the video, and those big spaces are going to take a lot to close. You think three months is enough time to have her strutting her stuff in a bathing suit at the pageant? Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. No, well, deeply no. Know. Right, oh, wait, oh, come on then. Oh. Christina's swan transformation oh. begins with her face. Fasse. She'll have a nose job. She's got a lovely nose. Brow lift, lip Why augmentation, laser hair removal, and several photo facials to even out her skin tone. For her Why body, Christina job? will undergo breast augmentation and extensive liposuction. Oh, just put her in better bloody underwear, for God's sake. In six different areas. At the dentist, Christina will need a full mouth reconstruction. She'll have zoom bleaching, multiple extractions, and laser gum and bone recontouring surgery. Laser bone. Recontouring. That's a new one, girls! Annabelle needs the bones. To get her body into pageant shape, Christina will be on a 1700 calorie a day diet oh. and spend two hours, six days a week at the gym. Oh. She'll need cardio and weight training to boost her metabolism. Weekly. Right, hang on. So she's on more calories than everyone else. I wonder why. I wish they would give like a reasonable understanding as to why they go on a, like, if they're going to use these numbers, like 1700 calories, 1200 calories, tell us why they are that level. Like, what's the, what, what is the, the, what's the goal like weekly? I don't know. I don't even know why I'm asking. What is the like weekly goals for these people to undergo? Like, this show is so vague in its description. It just kind of shows you the before and after. It doesn't really show you the how. It shows you snippets, but it doesn't really like give you any juicy bit details that would actually help you understand why. Maybe that's because they don't want to like overwhelm their viewers and just want to lure them into a sense of like, oh, if you go to Dr. Dubro, he'll do this for you, girl. Oh, very easy. Uh, no. Therapy and coaching will help Christina gain confidence and improve her self-esteem. Will it though? I okay, don't think. Expert sounds like a lot of work, so let's get started. What is this sounds like a lot of work? Let's when get started. What are you going to do, Amanda? <laughs> Ow! The swan girls! For Christina and Erica, the 12 week long swan program starts today. Is this a different apartment complex? Wow, nice. Christina is ready to regain her self esteem and get her body into pageant shape. Oh, I feel like people are staring at me, thinking, doesn't she know she looks horrible? That's so awful. Her competitor, Erica, Ooh, hopes denim to condition jacket. her body and grow into a secure, independent woman. Secure? And I want the pizzazz out of life. You're not going to get that with a brow lift, sis. Time for a brow lift. Oh. Three months. Right, I can handle it. Our swans quickly discover rule number one. Our swans. No mirrors. Oh, oh God. God. No mirror. Wow, no mirrors. Not even a reflection anywhere. It's gonna definitely take some getting used to. I think that's Erica, so barbaric. Welcome to the swan program. You've already taken big steps just to get here. We hope you will be ready for the night of your life. The swan pageant. I'm gonna be in a pageant. Now the hard work begins. Erica Moore, girl. Which reminds me, I managed to pick up this book. Aren't you clever? Thank you, it's been brilliant. From the deep, dark depths of the internet and it took six weeks to get here and I absolutely forgot I bought it. This is The Swan Curriculum. Create a spectacular new you with 12 life-changing steps in 12 amazing weeks. The official swan handbook by Nelly Galan. Life coach for the fox's swan. I... I'm going to read sections of this in the Where Are They Now? Because this is diabolical. The fact that this is a book that exists is absolutely abhorrent to me. And seeing that little binder there that she had with her name on and this on the front reminded me about this book. Okay, here we go. Right. A visit Erica with her plastic surgeon kicks off Erica's transformation. Doc Erica shows the ravages of massive weight loss. You do need surgical help. There's a lot of loose skin here. Mm -hmm. You've got a sad face around your belly button. Need. Need is a very interesting word to use here because need implies intrinsicness. And I don't like I don't know if I like what that explicitly states. He could have said it will help you achieve what you want, but need, I don't know. Breast is quite a bit lower than the other. Breast you have Mommy's true got breast. breast droop. Breast droop. I'm gonna be giving you a tummy tuck, liposuction of your hips and thighs, and a breast augmentation. But you have a lot of asymmetry and a lot of droopiness around your mid-facial area. Oh my god, that was a bit handy. Did with again. Oh. I'll do a mid-face lift, brow lift, and chin augmentation. Oh, my heart's going. 
I'm so excited. That is a lot I'm of work. A that is a lot, a lot, a lot of work to have in one go. A mid facelift, which means that all of this area is just going to be like. <laughs> I'm getting a second chance. A second chance. Across town, Christina is anxious as she begins her dental transformation. Oh, I Christina. I Ooh. smile with my mouth closed. You don't but like some people do, do. do. Christina's mouth is a big issue. I think she's gone through years of neglect with her teeth. I have to do just about a full mouth reconstruction on I her. I have to put blush right under my eyes. I had to extract three teeth and prepare <gasps> all the other teeth in her mouth for crowns and bridges. Christina needed extensive dental surgery, but when we're finished, she won't be afraid to smile anymore. Oh. Are you okay? Are you okay, sweetie? Are you all right? Are you okay, sweetie? Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. Erica learns the role diet will play in her weight loss program. Oh, look who it isn't. This woman even looks like an MLM. If you describe to me, like, what, what someone who works for an MLM looks like, you see this woman, this woman looks exactly the kind of person you'd be like, if I saw this woman on the street, I'd be like, she works for an MLM. That's a lot. So you're going to need to lose 30 pounds. MLM. Oh, my gosh. On the Nutrisystem program, you will be eating five times a day, but it's probably going to be a much smaller portion than you're used to. Are you up for this it? This bowl of wheat. I have to lose 30 pounds. It's going to be a problem for me, but not only am I going to lose 30 pounds, I'm going to lose more. I'm going to win the pageant. I won the whole thing. Erica is confident she has what it takes to master the SWAN program. Mm, okay. Meanwhile, okay. Christina sizes up the work she has to Angel do at the gym. Is that the first time we've seen that? Is that the first time we've seen what gym it is? Angel City Gym. Oh, my God. Quickly, let me look it up. Is it still in business? Angel City Gym on Facebook. Health and wellness in the city of angels. Last updated in 2016. Ah, With only one photo? How many reviews? No? Can't see the likes? Can't see the photos? No? Rating zero. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Well, interesting that it's taken until episode four of season two for us to find out what gym they're in. I'm going to challenge you at this high intensity level. The trainer is absolutely insane. Sprint, sprint, sprint. The trainer is insane. It is really intense. Keep going, keep going. I need you to increase the cardio. Yeah, Can you imagine can 30 minutes of this? No, not really. I need you to lose 30. Why are they trying to make it out like it's this really shocking thing? It's like... None of these shows have done anything to make exercise appeal exciting to a wider audience. Do you know what I mean? People get very bored of things that they don't like very, very, very fast. Cardio can be a really grueling process to some people. Other people thrive off it. For me, I love going for walks and really processing what I'm going to be doing for my next week, my next videos, my anything creative that I want to be doing, any book ideas that I have, any product ideas that I may have. I'm always thinking about those sorts of things. And then if I'm not thinking about any of that, I have have an audiobook to listen to or my favorite music. Nothing about that is explained in this show that you can make things exciting for you. I mean, I know this was back in 2004 and as we saw earlier, she just kind of had her headphones on with her CD player in her pocket, but like even a cassette player would have worked back then. So that's kind of strange. Do you want to win that crown? It seems like Christina expects the plastic surgeon to do all the work for her. But if she doesn't hit it hard in the gym, her body is not going to be pageant ready. I have not seen an example of that, Madame Debithria, at all, anywhere in this show. Have you seen that she expects other people to do the work for her? No, she is there in the gym with you doing the workout now. Look, you can tell her hair is sweaty. She's been really working out. And the idea that then her trainer's just like, well, she thinks that she's not going to blah. Like, don't talk about people like that. Stop it. Christina is starting to resist her swan regimen. Meanwhile, Where? Erica has some tough decisions what is this at the dentist. Storyline. Hi, Erica. Ooh, follow Sherry Today into for the Erica, booth. we're going to do a thorough cleaning and then prepare her teeth for veneers. My veneers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I decided I didn't want those. <gasps> okay. You came here to work on yourself, and your teeth are a big part of your transformation. Do not force her so to I have veneers. Take a couple minutes. And I want you to make your decision on your own. I just gotta think about okay. it. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank Thanks. You. She doesn't want veneers. Good. But we're gonna film you thinking about it. I would like to talk to my parents. Yes. <gasps> no. Afterwards, she's gonna do it. <sighs> who was that? Who was that woman in the room? Who was that woman? Woman. I cannot believe she had a moment of like. I don't really want to have veneers. 
Like, none of the explanation in this show about, like, the upkeep of veneers, the fact that you need to have them done every sort of eight to ten years if you keep them in really good condition. It's so strange that, oh, this is a repulsive photo I've got on the screen right now. I feel a bit sad about that moment because I almost felt like we were going to see a change in the paradigm and we haven't. There's a lot of decay in your mouth and I'm really glad that we were able to take care of that for you. Yes, I'm but the veneers don't the do veneers that. Because it's the only long-term solution for the decay. I didn't expect this one program to be this hard. Erica has faced her fears at the dentist. Meanwhile, Christina learns what her plastic surgeon has in store for her physical transformation. Ooh, good to see you. Set. We're going to go ahead and change some things. Your oh, nose. Right, OK. It's quite twisted, isn't it? This is very, very tricky. What was that? Did you hear the boom in the background then? Your nose. It's quite twisted, isn't it? Boom! It isn't it? This is very, very tricky. So I'm going to do a full nose reconstruction on you. Then we're going to do chin liposuction and take some of that fat and transfer it to your lips. So let's talk about the body area. Okay. Now, Flasher. we're going to go ahead and do breast augmentation, right? Right. What size do you want to be? As big as I can go without looking ridiculous. OK, well, what size were you thinking? Um, a double D, at least. Mummy's got breasts. Good heavens. Whoa, that's big. <laughs> We can certainly make you a double D. Uh, we'll have to think very carefully about that one because it's just very big. It's definitely something I've thought about for a long time. Okay. For your body, wow. we'll do a- Wow! Okay, we were never talked about any of that, but we've never seen a situation like that in this one before. If she's thought about it for a long time, that kind of gives me a bit of confidence that it's something that she genuinely wants. But to go to a double D is, is quite, um, that's quite, quite a change, I suppose. Breast augmentation. Then we'll do some liposuction to your abdomen, thighs, and knees. Right. I think we have an overall knees. plan. It's a very good plan. Christina's surgery your knees. could be very painful this and actually quite difficult shot. to recover from, but I think she's going to be incredible when we're done. It's, all of this surgery is quite difficult to do and actually going to be quite a struggle to recover from. But I'm confident that... Bla Shut up. Oh. <laughs> surgery day has finally arrived surgery for goes. Erica. I'm really excited Ooh, to get this new braid. me, this new look. Okay, Erica, we have a lot of work to do. All right, here we go. Oh. You going to wake up a swan? <gasps> yeah. That's a screenshot right there, isn't it, my loves? You gonna wake up a swan? Yeah. A swan. A swan so plastic. The, the fact that you just so easily say you're going to wake up a swan. Like, it's a bit like, like, in that state, if you've got a bit of, like, I don't know, morphine in your system, a bit of, like, anesthetic going in, and they're like, we're gonna make you a swan, I would immediately think, like, oh, don't give me feathers. Weird. It's so weird. I hate this ring a ding ding bitch. So I can start off with the liposuction of the oh. back. Ooh. Carve the turkey okay. goes. Ooh. One breast is completely different than the other, and matching them poses a real conundrum. Conundrum? Oh goodness! Cotton oh, himmel. She looks excellent. Oh. Now we're about well, that to was easy. Her facial transformation. So I'm going to put a chin implant in, and to provide her with a more graceful, like to see the dare chin I say, swan-like neck. A swan-like neck. You're going to give her a swan-like neck. Going to give her a swan neck? I don't think. Absolutely perfect. Now I'm happy. Oh. Came out great. Today everything oh. went well with Erica. Thank you for taking such good care of me. She's got oh. a great attitude. She's got a great oh, transformation. And now let's just hope she has a great healing. Oh, a great healing. Meanwhile, Christina is experiencing pre-surgery jitters. Of course. Christina, how are you? Which is normal. I didn't know I was going to be so panicked about it, but like I'm having panic attacks about it. Now let me Wait. ask you. What's happened to her under eyes? She didn't have this before. What's happened here? Now, let me ask you a question. You seem a little, um... Nervous? Sort of down today. I just, I'm not looking forward to the recovery. All right. Do you have any final questions for me? Mm -hmm. Please extend sure. this mm -hmm. recovery. All right, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Okay? Okay, very good. I do not have a good feeling. Looks like we're gonna have to break her nose a little bit on the left. Oh. This is an unbelievably fascinating nose. It has a completely bizarre, crooked, snake-like shape to it. A snake nose? Who's this coming into my home? Voila, nose is done. Okay, now it's let's do voila. Voila. Et voila. Nice. Oh, God, goodness, use the Dyson girls. Okay, so we're finished with the liposuction. I think it went very well. Okay. We're gonna start Christina's breasts. Start the breast. Because we're using Started a large implant, we're going to lift up a large portion of the muscle, so there'll be a lot more pain. Oh! 
Oh, interesting. So they're going underneath the muscle here. They've never mentioned really, apart from, I think Dr. Hayworth did when he talked about the breast pocket that he was putting an implant in, but we've never really heard like, is it over the muscle, under the muscle, around the muscle? All right, okay, hmm. Truly a work of art. Okay. Okay, your surgery went great. How do you feel? <gasps> Remember, it's going to be worth it, okay? The next few days may be incredibly difficult for Christina. Christina. Her body's gonna be killer, that's for sure. The rest will depend on her attitude, how hard she her works. attitude. Next on The Swan. The Swan Girls! Right, come on then. Come on then, swans. A swan neck. Ludicrous. When we met our competitors, Erica was enthusiastic about her swan plan. Yes. Not only am I gonna lose 30 pounds, I'm gonna lose more. I'm gonna win the pageant. But had difficulties in the dentist chair. I didn't expect the swan program to be this hard. However, she continued with the program and came out of surgery in remarkably good spirits. So there wasn't a storyline. Christine has been having doubts about the Swan Regiment. I need you to lose 30 more pounds. As of all of us, sis. The trainer is absolutely insane. She went into surgery feeling anxious and concerned. Yes, and which is normal. And came out facing a painful recovery. How do you feel? Remember, it's going to be worth it, okay? Why use that language? Why be like, a painful recovery? Yes, you've given this to her. You've given this painful recovery to her. So like, equip her better to deal with it? I don't know. Like, what? What does that even mean? I'll grow up, the swan. Into her recovery, Christina is having a tough time. Oh, two days after surgery. Okay. okay. Still very fresh. Uh -uh. Day three. I'm a lot of pain right now. Yeah. So I'm irritated. Because you're in pain. <sighs> Normal. I don't like being the weak one. Christina is struggling to overcome her discomfort. Meanwhile, Erica's healing is right on track. Wow, look at you. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you. Erica's healing well, but she has a lot of work left to do in the gym, and I hope she can stay motivated. While Erica continues weird. to improve, Christina's recovery is complicated by her refusal to follow the doctor's orders. Christina, what? you're not wearing the chin strap. No. When did you stop wearing your chin strap? Uh, about two days ago. Christina has a lot of swelling in the neck. If you bleed into the neck because you haven't been compressing it, that could turn into scar tissue. So why hasn't be it irreversible. been irreversible? Why hasn't someone been there all the time with a complication? Her. You've got a swollen chin, nodules from where blood is accumulating. Nodules. I did my part, and she's not doing her part. Oh, he two looks weeks angry. later, Christina returns to Doctor Debro for a checkup. So you're wearing your chin strap? I am. So you didn't just put it on five minutes before you got here? No. Yeah. Christina, I can tell you haven't been wearing it. I'm trying to prevent from having to inject you with steroids, which can have problems in and of themselves. So you have to wear this, okay? Oh, look at that, look at that nurse in the background. She's like, you bitch! You bitch! So you have to wear this, Ooh. okay? If you don't wear this, you've got a problem. You do have to wear your compression garments after surgery. Like, there isn't really a question about that. They are deeply uncomfortable and they pull on your hair and they pull on everything. They, like, give, give you, like, headaches and, like, everything feels, like, tight and horrible. But you do have to follow your recovery regimen. Regardless of what, whatever nonsense exercise they're making her do, she does have to follow the, the correct compression procedure. This is not a done deal with Christina. I don't know how she's going to turn out now. So wear this. Oh, this Christina's is a storyline, isn't it? defiance has put her physical transformation in jeopardy. Meanwhile, it's time for Erica to work on her inner transformation. Do we think Erica's going Erica to the pageant? Erica has trouble making decisions without her parents' approval. She needs to grow up, and in order to do that, she must first work on issues she has with her mother. She is 24, though. Like, 24 is still not a full adult. You don't fully understand reason and consequence until you're at least 25, 26. So she's still got a couple of years of, like, adult settling to do first before she's, like, a fully realized human being. The person you are at 26 is usually the person you are for the rest of your life. And the things about you that you question after 26 don't go away, sis. I'd like to try a role play exercise where Erica oh. has a conversation with her mother. Role play? I never really felt that loved. <gasps> I always oh. felt like I was gonna let you down. I didn't feel like I was smart enough. This is or pretty horrible. enough. All I ever wanted was to have you tell me that you appreciated me and that you believed in me. Oh. I know what I need to do and I need to do it on my own. I need to grow up. Erica is making progress. Meanwhile, our swan. I hate the idea that they filmed therapy to put it on TV. That's such a deeply personal moment. 
that is now broadcast to millions of people at the time that this aired. That is such a questionable choice by production. I don't really know how they would have solved that being such a questionable part because therapy was deeply needed for every single person on this show. And I feel like once per week for three months is not enough, A, eh? But also... The fact that it's filmed means that they can't ever fully really let their guard down. So is this therapy actually worth anything at all in the long run? Meanwhile, our swan coach checks in on Christina. Oh, here Christina. we go. The goose girl. Why are you making it to the pageant? I'm extremely concerned about Christina. I've been hearing from several of the experts that she's resisting her swan plan. Why is it that I've heard that you're not enthusiastic about the program? There's stuff that I really need to be doing at home. There's something I really need to show you. Oh, my gusset. <laughs> hard work. It is going to be strange and different and hard and- What was that? Was that a question from production? Should we have a listen to that? Will you stay committed? Will you stay committed? Will you stay hard committed? Work. It is going to be strange and different and hard and so yeah, I'm definitely willing to do This feels work. very propaganda. What do you feel in that moment that you don't feel now? I want you to really look at what you do with commitments. Post-surgery blues. Post-surgery blues is actually real and it does exist. This woman has just had life-changing surgeries and a lot of them. Give her a few weeks to adjust to this new life. Like, for goodness sake, she can't just hit the ground running. It's so obscene. Bonkers show. Why is it that you did so many things to sabotage your well-being? You didn't wear your chin strap. You have to wear this, okay? <laughs> if you don't wear this, we've got a problem. You lifted your arms and caused problems after surgery. <gasps> They're gonna yell at me. He didn't commit in the gym. Yeah, Can you imagine can 30 minutes of this? Well, that doesn't look like not committing. You cheated on your diet. What does that mean? I don't feel like I cheated on anything. Your commitment is not here with me right now. I think I finally got through to her, and you know, she has time to turn this around. You gave her one So that was a really strange interaction there. That was literally Nelly being firm with someone for a full minute and only letting her respond once. And the one thing that they televised that she said was, I didn't feel I was cheating. And now you've gotten through to her. Like, that whole segment is such a strange thing to air. That was so, like, telling off a child. I'm not sure I... I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that at all, how this has been edited. I mean... From this, from that segment, I get the feeling that Christina maybe wasn't as committed as she could be to this proceed this program. But then, like this program asks so much of you that it's so ugh, I lose my words, girls. I've lost me with the swan, girls. With only one month remaining until one month the final goes. reveals, both swans must focus on their goals. <sighs> Christina arrived determined to tone her body and boost her confidence. And. What I'd like to gain is oh. to be a good mother to my daughter, to show her what it feels like to have good self-esteem. That's Those such are a things I just don't know how to teach her at this point. But battled a bad attitude and lack of commitment. Christina, you're not wearing the chin strap. No. Following a visit from our swan coach, Christina that's surrendered one. to the program and is now giving it all she's got. Oh, that's a convenient storyline, isn't it? It's just like after she had a visit from Nelly, she fully committed to everything we've ever asked her and more. That's really weird. It's almost like maybe she was having a slump from post-surgery and then felt a bit better after that slump had moved past. Ooh, trying to get a storyline, are we are? I know what you're doing. I know what you are, production. This is where the competition starts. Will she be able to make up for lost time and earn a spot in the pageant? <sighs> Erica entered the program with hopes of revitalizing her body. She struggled to make her own decisions. I would like to talk to my parents. Forever gobsmacked. Forever gobsmacked. And underwent extensive surgery <gasps> to remove excess skin, but hasn't yet reached her goals. I've got that string bikini hanging in front of me like a Twinkie on a stick. We have 18 pounds to lose. Will she be able to lose the weight? Goodness. We are running out of time. The countdown begins. Who will make it to the pageant? The pageant! Only one will make it to the pageant, girls! Oh! Oh! Next up. Oh, that vicious shot being like... The pageant. Very game of gout. That was like... Oh, Jeffree Star's house. Here we are, girl. Oh, disgusting. Welcome back to the Swan. Bannister. Now, it's been a month since we've seen Christina and Erica. And I hate three this months since they've seen themselves in a mirror. Talk about Amira. anticipation. In just a moment, we'll finally see the results of their transformations. But before we do that, let's check in with our team of experts. Who oh, let's not bother. The clock with these women. Ooh. Experts, 
Christina came to us embarrassed about her physical appearance, but the biggest problem was committing herself fully to the program. Nelly, why do you think she had such a huge problem? Blah, 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 blah. I know nothing about phone. anything, so blah, blah, blah. Their lives and controlling their lives, but she never fully surrendered to the program. It was very tough. And Dr. Dubrow, how is she as a patient? Christina was a tough patient. We had to work really hard to help her follow through with the program. But despite that, I think her results are amazing, and I can't wait to see her reaction. Well, it was a rocky road, but she made it through. Here oh, she gosh. is, the brand new Christina Ozuna. Christina goes. Manservants open the door, clap her. Oh, a priest? Who used the 40 volume peroxide? Good heavens. They've given her so much volume at the side of her head, that doesn't make any sense. Why is there no volume up here and all the volume is here? The spaniel ears, girl. I do like the colour though, the colour is very gorgeous and glamorous lady. Look at how much better that lingerie is, gorgeous. Christina, you look absolutely This is an interesting awesome, dress choice. Oh, let's have a chat. <laughs> Christina, tell me honestly, you had a very, very difficult time on the program. Who's used all of the Tresemme? Look at this one straggly hair extension at the back underneath. What has this hairdresser done to you? Why do you have one 24 inch hair extension and the rest are like 18? Who's put, emptied a whole can of Tresemme into the your strands? What is this? What is this? Who styles hair like this? Hairdressers in the comments. What is this? What do you call this style? What is this? Oh, they have done her dirty. What was the most difficult part for you? Sitting in the dress, hairdresser's away chair. Away from your family. Mm. And I remember in the beginning that you once said that what you wanted to take from the Swan program was to be a good mother and that you wanted to show your daughter what it's like to have good self-esteem. I was playing a scarecrow with this hair. I feel like I've taken time away from my family and things that were going on in my life to try to work on me a little bit. I do not get well, positive vibes. Well, Christina, the time has come. Because, as you can see, there's a curtain. Behind it, there's a mirror. This hair is so bad. Now, if what have they done to you? Head up to the curtain for me, and let me know when you're ready. OK, good luck. Oh, then. this Thank doesn't you. feel good, girls. I don't feel good. Illuminati, cursed. Ooh, the duvet. Oh. Christina, girls. French tip. Okay, Christina. Are you ready? No. Yes. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I just... <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Is it good? Is it? Is it? I don't. You can't believe it. It's me. I see, you say you can't believe it, but it's true. How do you feel? I just. I can't believe it. I said to you earlier on that you had a really tough time on this program. Be honest with me now. Having seen yourself, was it worth it? No. I hate you. Slap. Your husband is serving in the military, and at the moment he's on a submarine. No. You think he'd be proud of you for coming such a long way? Yeah. What about your daughter? She has yeah. a bosom. I think she's gonna love mommy's new look. <laughs> this isn't a new well, look, sis. Do you have anything to say to a, a certain gang of people behind you? Um, no. You. Go to prison, all of you. <laughs> I'm really happy with Christina. She resisted me at first, but once she finally gave in, she got completely great results. Are you shocked? Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe how different she looked when she walked through those doors. Her I was fabulous. I'm she really looked shocked. Absolutely incredible. This is like difficult. Um, it's a toss up between the boobs and the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Through the chimney, girls. I need to go to the hospital now. The Swan! Right, I need to just have a quick moment there. I have a very stern emotion of uh, with that reveal. I don't know what the language uh, translation of uh, is, but I did not feel positive from that transformation reveal. Do you know what I mean? I feel like maybe this might have been one of the cases where they had to like refilm it or something, or maybe didn't refilm it and they just left it at that because I feel like that was not 
Every single thing that she responded with was like a leaded question. It was like, and how do you feel? What's your favourite part? And, and tell us, don't you have people to thank? Like, those are all like leading questions. Like, you're pulling like answers from someone rather than just letting them be and explain how they feel. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't feel very positive about that. That felt very, I don't know, maybe they put these women on something when they go to the reveals because how somber did she seem and like nervous and small. That's the word I think for that emotion is I felt like when she revealed herself, she felt small. Oh, I don't like that. All right, let's see the other reveal. Oh, here we are. Ah, uh, dear. Well, we just saw Christina's big reveal. Will she advance to the swan pageant? Now it's time to meet I competition, honestly don't know. Erica Moore. Competition. Experts. Erica came to us looking for the wow and the pizzazz out of life. So, Dr. Girl. Hayworth, how do you think she'll react when she sees herself? I implanted well, pizzazz. Well, Erica's coming to the end of a long and arduous personal journey. Arduous. I'm satisfied with the results, and I think Erica will be very pleased with her final surgical transformation. And what about her progress in therapy, Dr. Yanni? Erica came to the program very dependent and almost childlike. I think she's leaving a beautiful young woman. Okay, well, we'll get a chance to meet the new Erica in just a moment. Okay, it's time. Okay. Here she is, the brand new Erica Moore. Erica Girls, reveal! Open the hair. Ooh, I see long hair. Oh. Oh, not a wispy fringe. Lovely hair colour, though. Hi. Ooh. Confident, smiling, pink. No volume again on top. Ooh, I like that bustier. Again, they were very other, loud we to her. To speak to you right now. <laughs> Erica, I have three words. What was that? <laughs> Come with me, let's have a chat. I really need to speak to you right now. <laughs> That's very like leading your best friend off the dance floor to go to the bathroom to have like a deep, meaningful conversation immediately about a boy that's in the vicinity, doesn't it? That's exactly what that felt like to me. Erica, I have three words. Wow, wow, wow. You look absolutely out of this world stunning. It's been a very, very emotional journey for you. How, How do you feel to like finally that? arrived here tonight? I feel amazing. Of course, this is the first time that you've actually been on your own, really, away from your family. I mean, do you feel like you've grown up a little bit? I think I have done a lot of growing up, and I'm ready to go home and take on this new womanhood. I know who I am. I remember you Pageant said, answers. I want to be transformed. I want to be beautiful. Well, you know that the time has come. As you can see, there's a curtain in behind it. Why are they trying to be like, oh, have you grown up into a gorgeous woman now? You've achieved womanhood. Let us put you in this Barbie pink dress. Interesting styling choice if you're trying to sort of like evoke more mature vibes from someone. I don't know about that. Take a few deep breaths. To the gout Step mirror. Step up to the curtain. And when you're ready to see the brand new you, let me know, okay? Illumina, okay. say girls. Who's that man in the back? Good luck. Right, here we go. Da, 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 da. I've got gout. I've got gout. I've got gout. I've got gout. Oh. Ooh. Cartier. Cartier. Okay. Ooh, not eyelash this in the fringe. The you've been waiting for your whole fringe life. Fringe in the eyelash. Whole life? It's a bit much. I'm ready. Erica goes. <gasps> She's shaking. I'm beautiful. Oh, okay. <gasps> wow, that is quite a tan as well. I love it. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <gasps> okay, I can Tell exhale me. now. Tell me what's going on inside your head right now. I look amazing. I know. <laughs> They're so murky! <laughs> Wait! They gave her a facelift at 24 years old! This woman is 24 years old and they gave her a facelift. A facelift at 24. Is that even ethical? Erica, do you remember that you said that you were just sick of being the big girl? Look yeah. in that mirror right now and tell me what you think. So we gave you a horizontally striped dress. I'm not the big girl anymore. Oh, those lips are hot. <laughs> She does have good lips, yes. You are hot. Oh, stop. You also said that you wanted the wow and the pizzazz out of life. Something tells me you're going to get that. I think so. <laughs> we well, have a couple of people uh, behind you that would probably agree with you right now. 
guys. When Erica walked through those doors, her smile oh. was so radiant, and I felt so good about it because she went through such a tough time to get there. I'm so happy with the results of Erica's transformation. I think she's independent, autonomous, and able to hold her own for the very first time. Autonomous. Right, let's talk a little bit about Erica's reveal there. I feel completely different about Erica's reveal than I did about Christina's. Erica's reveal kind of felt a little bit more like a, a weight had been lifted off her shoulders, so to speak, in a way that kind of lifted her spirits. I did not feel like Christina's spirits were lifted. Do you know what I mean? So that, I felt like I could just breathe out and just like enjoy her seeing herself and having this reveal. The weird thing about this show is that in certain reveals, I don't agree with this show overall. I don't agree with the concept of this show. I don't think it really should have been made. I think the, the concept should have been something quite different. But that doesn't mean to say that I don't sometimes get some amount of like wholesome vibes from the reveals. Like some of the reveals have gone so swimmingly well that it just goes to show that like some level of work can really bring that little bit extra out that people really want. And others it's like, oh no, this, this has not fixed anything. If anything, this has in a way made the situation so much worse than it was before. Whew. Okay, girls, right. Who's going to the pageant? The swan. The swan, girls. Welcome back to the Swan. Ooh. Now, it's been another night of dramatic reveals, I hate and this it's time dress. to find out who our judges, in consultation with our experts, have decided to send to the Swan pageant. Who's Christina got the most poise, girl? Erica. Before we bring them out, let's take one final oh, look at their piss. <gasps> gentlemen. Come on, girls. Reveal the women. Oh. Oh. Oh, she looks much better. Look. Oh, no. Still hey, ladies. Chris crispy How you curls. Doing? Okay. okay, I she's just want much to say more congratulations smiley now. First of all, because you both look absolutely stunning, okay. and you've made the most breathtaking transformation. So you Breast. should be proud of yourselves. Okay, but right. okay. only one of you can move forward to the pageant, and could be. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but would you look at Erica's hair extensions here? Who has done this? Hairdressers. Would you be happy if somebody got hair extensions at your salon in your chair and you gave them this and let them leave with this? Would you? Be crowned the swan. The swan, girls! Right. Oh. Along with that title comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. All fakery. Oh, look They've at that. They've been breast. judged on beauty and poise and, and overall poise. transformation. Breast. This envelope contains the name of the woman who will advance who has the, breast. the pageant. <gasps> breast. Breasts. Bosoms. Breast. This is a very booby episode. Good luck to you both. Right, who's it going to be, girls? The name of the woman... Oh, the cello. ...who will be moving on to the pageant is... Is... Host! More. Oh, oh, we knew it, girls. We knew it. Knew it. Oh, really sad. Christina didn't make it to the pageant, but the truth is, she didn't surrender to her internal transformation. Surrender. She wasn't totally focused on herself. Surrendering is not usually a good option for anything. I'm so proud of Erica for making it to the pageant because I think it's one of the very first things she's ever done totally on her own. This is the longest hug we've seen. Okay. I think maybe Congratulations, they both Erica. really needed support. Can you please stand over there for me while I say goodbye to Christina? Come here, girl. Oh. Okay, talk to me. Tell me what the biggest lesson that you've taken from this whole experience. It's been a long, rocky road, right? Oh. What's the biggest lesson? Don't forget about yourself. Can we take it that you're a healthier, happier, more beautiful person leaving here today? Amanda, Definitely. believe your eyes, sis. Well, before we say goodbye to you, there are a few special visitors who are very anxious to see you. It's been three long months. And Christina, it's time. The three witches of Over the forest. Gentlemen. The void. 
Hello. Is this the, ch oh, it's the child. When I first saw my niece, she looked oh. incredible. She oh. looks very happy. Her body looks awesome. She looks happy. Oh, Fabergé eggs for everyone. This music does I something to me. I've got goosebumps. I, first, I noticed her teeth because I knew she was really wanting to get her teeth done, and they just look awesome. Almost didn't recognize her at first. She looks beautiful. I feel good because I felt like um, even when I didn't want to, I stayed. And I wouldn't have known what this felt like if I hadn't. So I feel stronger. Uh, come here to me. Congratulations. Speechless. Oh, you are Speechless. going to the pageant. The pageant goes. How do you feel? So, so ecstatic. Words can't describe. I believe you. I believe well, you. Congratulations. We will see you at the pageant. Well done. And next week, two more women will undergo the transformations of a lifetime in the quest to be crowned... The Swan. guinea fowl. Next week. No, stop it. I absolutely not. I am going to push my laptop away from me there. Take my Ohrhanger out and just say, I did not believe a word that Christina was saying then. I felt like she was fed words by production because her body language was so closed off, shut down and sort of like in almost like a survivor mode rather than actually speaking words that she believed. How did her friend say she looked so happy? I got many vibes from that reveal and happy was not a single one of those, my loves. Oh my goodness. I feel a bit tortured watching that. I don't, I personally am not like hugely like intuitive when it comes to body language, but like that was not a positive, well-rounded experience for Christina as it was for Erica. Do you see what I mean there? That was very stressful to watch. I'm not entirely sure how I believe about that. I hope that we aren't setting a precedence for 2022 that leaves us feeling like that. Please let me know what you think about what we've seen today in the comments box below because that, my loves, was a lot. I mean, Erica's reveal there seemed so much more bright and sparkly and like excited and exuberant for the future. I did not get the same vibe from Christina for the for her reveal. My goodness. And the nonsense that Nelly was coming up with in this episode. Oh, get in the bin, Nelly. Get in the bin. Merch available now. <laughs> and my loves, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourselves scrolling past on the screen right here, my loves. Yes, you can. If you want to become a Patreon, please check the link in the description box below. You get access to multiple different types of perks. And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Mary Siren, Victoria Chappelle, Moxie, Liz Kay, Annette Chestnut, Ali E, This Be Sophie, Lara, Gianni Salvatore, Godzilla Girls, Rachel the Seabiscuit, Paola Costillo, Mary Balabanova, Joanne Gaze, Rachel Weber, Hazel Nutso, Bridget, Princess Lilium, Catherine King, and Sammy310. Thank you so much for joining the Patreons, you stunning women on the go. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Dysfunctio Art. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the game. And if you want a chance of being shouted out in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream Mondays and Thursdays, my love. Oh, yes. Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Kelly Loom, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Alley, Dr. Dreamerella, Steffi Tech, Orkos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Andy Henry, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Casey Donahue, Shell Herman, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dana Broderick, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Jarrah Pavlovsky, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Lane Wade, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Trix, Paola Rivera, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Succubus Lena, Traverful, Victoria Carella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. Thank you guys so much for allowing this channel to thrive and survive all the way through the Panini so far, girls. And with that, I'm going to leave it on the note of please don't empty a full can of hairspray into your curls. It will not look good. <laughs> and with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. Oh.